Hello my fellow patriots. Um, today I'm in my water storage area. Um, I think it's kind of important to tell everybody what's going on here. Um, everybody is probably getting to the mindset of purifying water but I wanted to have a place where I could also store water. So what you see here are two 1500 gallon tanks so I can store 3,000 gallons. Now I'm on well water but this has already saved my butt this last summer because we went through kind of a drought and a lot of the wells dried up but since I have these storage tanks I pump from my well into these tanks and then what do I do is you can see right there this line here is where it comes from my well and it goes to a filter there and then hopefully I can get this. This line here it goes up to my tank. Now I'm going to show you what this is here in a minute because some of you are thinking I don't have a well but I'll show you what I did here. Um, you don't need a well. Anyway so from this tank I have this pipe here that converts so it, when water gets pumped in this tank right here it fills up both tanks so I can store 3,000 gallons of water and using water like crazy I mean showering me and my girl and doing all of our laundry and doing dishes and just wasting water this will last me for well over a month 3,000 gallons but um, if I had to get into a different mindset this could last me for a lot longer anyway this line up here it goes over and down and it goes to this pump here now on this pump I can either switch this to 220 or 110 so I have it on 110 obviously and there's my fuse box but this is pretty important here because this isn't just an air tank it has a bellows in it and what it does is I have it set at 30 pounds so when I get down to 30 pounds of pressure and I have a gauge right there this will this will push the water out so my pump doesn't have to run as long so I'll save the life on my pump but anyway so it goes from that tank to my pump and then right now I'm running at about 50 pounds of pressure but it goes to, this is really important here, it goes to these three filters. Now the first two are for sediments and the third one I have on charcoal. Okay, so this gets out all the sediments and then down here I don't have it plugged in because where I'm at we have really, really clean drinking water out of the well. But just in case I have to start relying all on rainwater, I have this UV light here too that kills all the bacteria. So it goes through all three of these filter systems here and I can't have it through the UV system. And then right there it goes into my house. But um, what I wanted, what I thought this would be important for everybody is because this pipe right there, that big one on top of the tank, I have it going outside. Now I have a metal roof, but I also get water out of the rain off of my metal roof. And then I just simply have a cloth down in the hole there to catch the little particles so my tanks stay pretty, pretty darn clean all the time. So um, this is the way I preserve water. Now you can put these in your garage if you're running off of, you know, city water or whatever. And you can still hook this to your main line and get this pump and these filters. So if all hell breaks loose at the worst case scenario and, and they turn off the water, you'll have 3,000 gallons of water. And water is more important, not more important, but as important as food. You can only go without water for three days. You can live without food for over a month if you have to. Um, and trust me, you're going to want a lot of water. So this is an easy way to do it. Um, Mother Nature fills these up pretty good um, during the rain. Um, but I can pump it off of the well too. But these tanks here, you can get them a lot smaller than this. Um, even if you had 500 gallons of water, you're going to be way ahead of the game. So, just wanted to show you what old one of many's um, got for his water system, and this works out good. Now, what I do in these tanks here, I wanted to mention these two. These are both 1,500 gallon tanks, but every time I fill them up, I add bleach, and uh, I know what's right for me, 
but um, um, leery about saying that this much or whatever, you research it and do whatever you feel safe to uh, preserve your water. But um, something you guys might want to think about. Hope this helped y'all. Have a good day. Bye.